guys, what is going on? It's Eagle 101 here, and we are back with more. Jimmy got me 10 sec, not a turn, and um, I know last episode I said I was gonna go into the uh, the labyrinth of Amala, but I decided, nah, you know, we, we gonna see what's going on with this city before we do that. And off camera, guys, I did a lot of fusion. I did so much. I made this guy, he's new. He's new, he's got like, um, like I made so many physical attackers, I made a lot of magic users. I was thinking about making uh, Lady Kushinata, but since we got fucking Dai Daisojo, like what is even the point, you know what I mean? But I made a lot of physical guys off camera. I made Earthis, I made, uh, uh, I made, uh, I made a lot of people. Uh, here we go. We, I made this guy. I made this guy. And of course, like I said, I just showed you I made him. And this guy is really cool because he repels Hama and then he knows Mudo. That's crazy. That's like a game changer. I mean, and then I made Earthis. I mean, he's a low level demon, but come to find out, um, I fused Earthis with, I want to say, this guy. And we ended up getting this guy. And uh, he's really good. So, um, but yeah, uh, let me, let me reach something. Yeah, I, I, and Dionysus look ni looks nice. Dionysus is average as fuck, actually. Wine party, what the hell? Damn, but you know what? Dionysus was the Greek god of, uh, wine, if I can remember right. Or something like that. It, like, he was the Greek god of wine or something. I can't remember. But I know he was the god of wine and like something like that. I just it's like it's faintly like it's it like escaping me at this point. But I remember he had something to do with wine and I think that I thought that was just so cool that they gave him something called wine party. So they're you know they're uh definitely get showing love to the uh the uh mythology, the Greek mythology and stuff like that. But then again like I said Persona 4 with um well, I ain't gonna say Persona with, with the, uh, I wouldn't say it's Greek mythology with Persona Four's case, but nevertheless, it is mythology. Strong mythology at that. Okay, see, this is what I was talking about, Kushnada. She's gonna learn Maragi, and she has Media Rama. That's actually not bad, her magic and look is nice. It, I mean, it ain't die, but, you know, nevertheless, it, it's definitely great to have, like, a lot of magic users in her party. No, that's what I'm trying to base, base, I'm trying to balance my party. I'm trying to balance my party with a lot of physical attackers and a lot of magic users. So we got, we got Arahabaki, Oku, Flamis, uh, as the physicals. We got Dai, Dai, um, Siri, and, and Dis as, and Nu as the magic ones. And I guess I count as physical. So we got four physicals and four magics. And the Sokka is there for support, eternal support. So, you know, that's that's pretty much what I've been going for. But let's see what's going on here. I haven't went here yet. Okay, let's see what's going on. This city is pretty shabby. There are places we can't even get to. But we'll clean it all up because it's our city. All right, I hear you. <laughs> oh shit! Well, put a stoma back on. Cause we ain't having that. What? We ain't having that. <laughs> Whew! So busy, oh dude. It's the collector mannequin. Oh, it's you. It's me. Remember, you know, the underpass in the prison. Me. I was thinking of opening a store here, making use. Of all my experience, it's a mess now, so it'll be a while before I, I'll be able to open up. But I hook you up, so come on by after I open. Oh shit, alright, cool. I definitely remember that. Oh! Dude, um. Uh, um. Off camera, I backtracked to, um. What was that? To the, uh, tones, where I beat Ungi, uh, Ungioki. And I can't believe I beat Ungioki. Well, I mean, I can believe because I'm, you know, when I look back at the footage, I was like, 
damn, I just beat him and I left. But the thing is, when I beat him, there was another room up ahead. But I thought that, because remember, remember I approached the room from behind and it said the door couldn't open. So I just, I just for some reason thought that, well, the door won't open. The thing was, there was a room behind it. And the room behind it um, had a, um, it had a Magatama and it had a, um, I want to say a bead or a bead chain inside, but it actually had a Magatama in it and it was this Magatama here, M Murakumo. Now, am I, if, I don't know if I'm tripping or not, and I know this is totally off basis, especially being that the game I'm playing right now isn't the game I'm about to mention, but isn't... Uh, aren't the uh, the uh, units in Blaze Blue? Aren't they Murakumo units? I don't know why. I'm, I'm slightly remembering that too. But it's been so long since I played any Blaze Blue. But that's beside the point. Whoa, it's you. Do you remember me? How have you been? All right. Yeah, we've been good, man. I see. I see. We're doing well living in Asakusa. This is all thanks to Furomimi's leadership. The big one, right? Furomimi is in our holy land of Muna Mufunashiro. Go and see him. Where's where is that at? Let's start this way. We're working hard to restore the city, but there's a bad mannequin that's ruining our peace. He's ruthless, tearing off the skins of other mannequins. Ooh. He might be around here, so be careful. Oh, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. That, that sounds fucked up, but I ain't scared. Let's go find his ass. Oh, wow. This is the way out, huh? What? What? The mannequins sure are noisy. Imagine the mantra have fallen and the damn mannequins have moved in town. There goes the neighborhood. It sounds racist. Is there anything? Nah. Alright, so let's leave. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what we are. We're down here. Damn, there's two sides of this place. I wonder what's on the right side. You know, let's, let's see what's on the right side. I love the map. Damn! Look at all the blood everywhere. It's Sa Saka Sakahagi. That that traitor, Sakaha Sakahagi, is going wild up ahead. Sakahagi. I wonder how you like, really pronounce it. And then here. Sakahagi ruins our peace. He's an evil mannequin. Oh, man. That's rough, man. That's rough. Man, there's blood everywhere. Look at, the, look at all this blood on the wall. God damn. Wait, what? Shh! Sakyagi will find me. Go away. Dude, is he, he was playing possum, dude. Wow. Alright, let's check his door out here. You sense the strong power? Whoa! Hold up. Let's run up that moon. Y'all already know what it is. This dude over here playing possum, dude. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I mean, if it were, say hey, No shade, no shade. So it look like he's the only healthy one, because this one, he stabbed. He got stabbed. Damn, man, I feel bad. I really do. He's gonna hit, hit this moonwalk on him. Hey, hey. 
over about that diagonal wall wall bro. Hey, let's get it. <laughs> got them dance moves. <laughs> Yo, got them dance moves. Got them dance moves. Oh, shit. Everybody? Whoa! Did he get a crit? He got a critical from that, dude! And it hits every fucking one. Oh my god. That guy. Dude. Yo, that experience, so. Alright, so let's run up this moon right quick. Alright, let's get it. What the hell? You should have just handed over your Magatsu. Damn, he got a Kuna in his hand? But instead, you decided to oppose me. That was too funny. This guy's a ninja? Well, I'm not complaining. Now I have the new skin tag in my collection. Damn! Oh shit. Bruh. Who's there? Thing look way different from the rest of them. Damn, you had me scared for a second. I thought those mannequins were bad. They're pretty weak, all of them except this one guy that escaped from the launcher. He's been giving me a headache recently. It would have made my life a lot easier if he had killed him. I should thank him, though, for bringing his followers here. It's like free Mugatsu. I've been collecting Mugatsu. Eventually, I'll have enough power to dominate all the demons. You're a demon. You know how it is. You're thirsty for some Mugatsu yourself, aren't you? Not really. You don't want Mugatsu. You're one weird demon. Well, it's time for me to go. Maybe we'll meet again. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll see. Just remember, I'm Sakahagi, the future world ruler of the demons. He looks pretty sick, though. I ain't even gonna lie. He looks dope. He looks extra dope. Like, he looks unique as fuck. Like, he doesn't just look like... Ooh. Aw, oh, what? He took the shit, dude. Asshole. Damn, dude. Poor guy. Rest in peace, man. Damn. So, um... You left. Oh, God. What if he's headed towards Asakusa? Oh, man. That's probably where we need to go. Let's go on the other side. Yeah, we need to check out the other side. Yeah, I want to check out the other side. Oh, wait. Our holy land, Mafuna Shiro, is just past here. Okay. Cool. Man, I'm surprised there's no, uh, they didn't try to hide any, uh, mythical chests, like, here. I don't know why, but I, th I thought, like, that would be a thing. Hey, hey. Oh, dude. Hey, hey.
looking just just the Azakusa, it's heartwarming to see the mannequins restore the town. But looking at Tokyo as a whole, we see Nahilo taking over, and that's no way. Nahilo has no rival. Are we just going to sit here watching Hakawa make his world of stillness? Yeah, that sounds pretty unfortunate. That place looks interesting, so we're going to save that for last. I heard there was a human girl hanging around the mantra's headquarters when they fell. She must have to do So that was Chie, actually. Yeah, that was, that's Chie he's talking about. I can't remember it. Those days when I used to be tortured by the mantra. Like, it's happy they're over, right? What is wrong with this guy? Oh, you know what? I tell you, you know what? He's probably one of those guys that, you know what I'm going to say? Y'all know what I'm talking about. One of those guys that likes to be he whipped and all of that stuff, dude. Oh, hell no, dude. Hell no. Hell no. What's going on here? What is it? You want to know what games humans used to play? I already beat this game. Well, if you won't, well, you won't last a minute. It's over before it even starts. If you can win, I'll give you an inset like thing. Okay, why don't you try? Okay, sure. You don't have to go along with me, you know? Well, it's okay. Do you see that spinning blue cube? That's the goal. If you have any questions, open up the menu and select help. Are you ready? Then let's start. Bro, what's up with these Dragon Ball Z Budokai ass sound effects? You heard that shit? Like, bro, that's like, that's like, I swear that's like a Dragon Ball Z sound effect. Anyway, alright, so. Okay. How the hell do 
way to get it up there. Wow. <laughs> I'm real deal, just like, what? get behind it, I will be able to push it up, but god damn, like that is not even a freaking option. Man. Oh wow. Oh dude, all I had to do was just move it out the way. Aw oh, dude, what the hell? They can't turn because of that spot I took up. So, we definitely don't want to do that. Anything, like, get this out of the way.
Ah, I can't turn it until...
can't really get to it. I cannot get to it. I can't get to it unless I... gonna get those in there if they if they can't move when that it actually can go back that far like damn that is crazy it's, it's crazy that it remembers so much Ah! Oh, 
Back up, cause uh, this is like this is about to get really long. Wow, are they serious? Right? Whoa, dude, it's like that. Call the episode here, and we'll be in the, when we come back. <laughs> um, hopefully, uh, we will have uh, beaten this and gotten the uh, reward from this kid for from beating this game. But um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. Until then, I will catch you guys later because I've got. Oh, man.